Hi, it's, this is Tom with Advanced Services, and in this session we're going to talk about bringing up the control plane with the SD-WAN Core Function Pack. So uh, with us today, we have Chox from Advanced hey, Services. Tom. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, Chox. Um, and also Nippa. Hi, Tom. Nippa Glad from the NSO team. Yeah, so uh, I think this should be a good session. It's always good to do a demo after all the PowerPoint deep, deep dives. Exactly. Yep. Uh, Sharon is going to be our presenter and our demonstrator. So Sharon, uh, please take it away. We'll try not to ask too many questions as you get into your flow, but uh, I'm sure you'll, you'll uh, lead us through it. Great. Thank you, uh, Tom, for introduction. So today I'm going to do the demo, uh, how to bring up uh, the vController on OpenStack. So this is a topology I'm going to use. And uh, this is showing, uh, so here, I'm going to deploy the uh, vManage and the vBound and the vSmart. And the finally, I'm going to deploy the uh, vEdge. And this is the ESC uh, between these uh, two networks, which is uh, acting like an engine uh, to follow the uh, VNFs. So Sharon, I did have one question about the two different networks. We talk about a, a private network and a flat provider network. Mm. In the context of the vControllers, the interfaces that would connect to the private, I assume, would be our management Ethernet interfaces. Is that correct? Yes. So, so that's the management interface. And then yeah. the flat provider network is talking to the, the rest of the network in, in SD-WAN. Yeah, it's so going to the uh, uh, one network. Got it. Yeah. OK, thank you. Thanks. So this is, I'm just quickly going on a couple of slides for all the payloads. So this is a uh, vManage payload. Uh, as you can see, this is a XML format. What do we need is like uh, we need to uh, give the provider name. Uh, we need to do the uh, see which ESC type and the ESC name. And the next one is the uh, uh, member of VNFs. So we need to give the VNF name and the username, password, and the VDO VNF, which is this is uh, important. And you need to give the IP address we can you can access uh, from the NSO and also the gateway. And important is also the day zero file. Uh, where is the day zero file? And the uh, next one is like uh, just the uh, system IP and site ID. This is information needed for the um, VTELA uh, vManage. And finally, the NDU. So like uh, with, uh, which network are you going to define on the NDU? And the Sharon, one question I had was on the Payload, we also include the site name, right? Yeah. So that defines your SD-WAN um, site, and user can choose to yeah. provide a name for the site. Yeah. And also, this has to be uh, associated with the volume you created on OpenStack. Uh, similarly, um, uh, this is a VBound. It's a, a basically a similar information. And next one is the vSmart. It's also like a same. Uh, similar information, but you have a different uh, IP address. So this is uh, just a command to show the status while you are uh, deploying. I'm going to show on the demo. Uh, first, I want to show you the OpenStack that I'm going to use. Here it is. So as you can see, right now, uh, from the instance, I don't have anything yet uh, but the ESC. Uh, later, I'm going to deploy the uh, vController, including uh, vManage, vBound, and vSmart on here. Uh, before that, we have a, um, a need to preset up like a download the image. This is the image we're going to use for like vBound, vManage, vH. It's all here, the ESC image. And also, we need to create the volume. As you can see here. Um, the admin uh, for the uh, OpenStack, uh, this uh, two volume we created name as ESAV manage uh, volume. Uh, you can see my payload. I have this in my payload. OK, I think uh, this is a, a pre setup for the uh, uh, OpenStack. Uh, so next, I'm going to open my uh, NSO server. This is my NSO server. I'm logging. Uh, to NSO command line. Uh, as you can see, show uh, on the our slides, we have to show the package, what we have. Uh, 
This is the uh, branch infra uh, slide. This is the SD one. And also we have uh, uh, the Viptela manage, uh, vManage uh, package here. OK, so um, before you do, uh, do the deployment, you have to have uh, uh, the ESC device on the device tree. So I already printing at it already. So let's show a uh, device. I have the ESC. So this is my ESC. This is the IP address, the port number. All the uh, necessary information is already here. Uh, next, you need to have the uh, uh, provider infrastructure, which I already uh, set up uh, prior to this. And here, this is our uh, provider. So we use the uh, call function pack a common catalog. And uh, this is a VBound IP address, uh, the port. And also, this is the hosting is the uh, root certificate, which we are going to apply to the uh, vController. So Sharon, how does this uh, provider infrastructure relate to the tenancy on uh, Viptel SD WAN side? Yeah, so good question. So uh, this is a provider was like, a, uh, you have to have the same name. Um, so it will be created on the vManage, the provider name and tenant. Okay, so. Um, so, one question on the VBON port. Yeah. Is there any range that you recommend for the uh, VBON ports? Not we recommend, whichever okay. is the uh, uh, Webtel uh, recommend. So, for now, the, the, we just use this like as a port. You can use like any port. Got it. Thank you. Okay, so uh, next I'm going to deploy the uh, vManage. So, let me merge my. Uh, Okay, so this is my uh, payload. Let me just show. Okay, so this is my uh, provider A. I'm going to use a type of ESC. Uh, my ESC name is ESC2. So this is my member of ENF name, as I, I mean, I showed on the uh, slides. So this is exactly the uh, information. So I'm going to commit. Okay, to see the status, we have the uh, command. Uh, I give the name as a uh, vManage site. I need to make it more clear. Uh, right now, still showing like a now reached, so it's actually uh, doing the deployment. If we go back to uh, OpenStack, so it's already starting to do the deployment. This is the vManage, so it's running like a zero minutes. So we need to give like a couple of minutes for the fully configuration all set up. So while you're waiting on the instances to come up, can you show the network so we can figure out how the network that you've allocated? Yes. That'll be a good thing for customers to know. So we have this uh, uh, network, private network. I think there's a topology graph I can show you. Let me see if it's here. So you just want to make sure you allocate enough space for all your potential uh, yeah, devices. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, IP address range and other things. Yeah. So as you can see, this is the uh, the fly network and this is a private network. So one instance uh, is this a ESC instance, and this is the vManage I'm deploying right now. Would that area, would that range have to cover all the tenants, uh, or is that specific to a single tenant? So this right now I'm, I'm just deploying a single tenant. Single tenant, but yeah. for the next tenant, would you allocate another? flat network and another uh, um, um. Uh, no actually uh, you, uh, for the multi-tenant you actually configure on the vManage side oh, right. so when, once you bring up the vManage you can go to the vManage and configure that, another that tenant makes sense. yeah okay. so if I remember right I think you have the public IP address under floating IPs that's where they allocate the address 
that will be available for them to reach outside. Yeah. Right. Floating IPs or number of IPs and then the range. Yeah. Right. yeah. So once this is up, I'm going to use this IP address and I can show you on the uh, web browser. So go back to here, the instance. Okay, so let's see if uh, uh, the status uh, is still uh, not reached. Uh, have to take some time to bring up all the configuration. So we do need you need to, to wait for uh, we managed to come up right before yeah. you instantiate the vbond and vsmart? Yes. Yeah. So if you want to see the uh, this one um, on the UI, you can click it, and actually you can go to the console and see what's like uh, happening. Okay, right. we can maybe uh, log in from here. Okay, so this is a. Uh, you do show run. So the V manager um, is uh, they already assigned the VBound IP address. So they have the VPN 0. This is the uh, IP address assigned 110. OK. So you also need to bring up the UI so it takes a while. Let's see. Okay, I think right now it should be already ready. So it's already reached. Okay, so now I'm going to the uh, we manage UI. I want just open this UI so you can show you can see it's already up. It's the IP address I give. The UI also uh, takes a while to establish. Mm -hmm. So how many devices you can support with one vManage VH devices? Uh, I think uh, as far as, the, I mean, we have like a supporter, like you can support 100. Okay. I mean, depend on the size of, uh, maybe you can go more. <coughs> yeah, it's, like, uh, it's all of a sizing game. It's uh, I think 2,000 per domain is the the limit before you'd start having, you know, multiple domains. Controllers, yeah, controllers. got it. It's a good number. Okay, so this is a uh, uh, we manage this app. You can see the uh, the UI, and you can go through the. Uh, right now, I only have a. Uh, one devices we manage. I'm going to add in the uh, we bound and the we controller on here. All right. So let's go back to adding the we bound. Okay. Just quickly show you the uh, payload. So this is the uh, VBound information, the, the VNF uh, IP address gateway. Uh, we controller, we're using uh, same thing, side ID, a different NDU. Okay, I'll go to the commit. Okay, we can uh, see the status as the same, uh, similar command. So uh, VBound, I give this uh, VBound side uh, as uh, the name, side name. So it's still uh, not rich yet. If we go to the uh, OpenStack side, it might start the Okay, so VBound is starting the uh, uh, 
uh, deployed already. So but just give a couple minutes and they will be like up. So for NSO to connect it, they need to like uh, pin the IP address and uh, SSH to it. Okay, so let's see the status. It's already uh, in the rich state. So if we go to the uh, UI, we might see it, but uh, I think it still uh, takes a while. So not yet. Uh, eventually, it will show up uh, here for the uh, VBAN. So maybe in the while we're waiting, I'm going to uh, deploy the vSmart. So at this point, you're added, you're just adding the controllers to be managed. You haven't done anything with certificates or CSRs yeah, or anything, right? Yeah, not yet. Okay. So this is my uh, Wii Smart payload. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, all similar, just a different IP address for the Wii Smart. Let me do commit. Same, we can show the status. I give the name as a Wii Smart site. It's not in a rich state. We need to give uh, like a couple more minutes. Okay, so the Wismar is uh, deploying right now. It's at zero minutes. Let's go back to here if we can see if the uh, Wibond is already added. Yeah, so the Wibond is adding the, to the vManage. And also from here, you can see the uh, settings. Uh, we give the VBound IP address and the port number. This is a part of our payload. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there also status which said the mode is CLI. So if you use the API, will it show API when you add the VBound in the previous screen? <coughs> the mode in which you add the VBound, it has a mode also. Oh, I think you talk about from the vManage screen? Yeah, vManage okay. You noticed that the controllers were in CLI mode. That just Correct, means yeah. that vManage has not yet take on, taken ownership of the configurations. Oh, okay. So you, would, you could do it from the CLI, um, or you could create a template in vManage with yeah. the configurations, put them in vManage mode, and then, and then attach those controllers to, the, uh, to a, that template, template okay. to, to do it from the GUI. Right. Yeah, but initially it just comes up in CLI mode, right? Which would be yeah. Okay, got so it. So this is yeah. So right, uh, come default is CLI mode. You can change it to vManage mode. Got Actually, it. when you do a, a template or policy, you need to have the uh, vManage mode to do that. So can, can so you also show the devices on the NSO side? vManage also should now show up under the devices, right? Along with the ESC. Okay. So show device. So I think earlier we only had ESC registered as a yeah, device, but so now right, vManage also v has been added. So NSO talks to, um, basically manages the vManage from this point onwards. Okay. Yeah, so you see the IP address is the uh, vManage. And also the device type, uh, NED is also attached um, to this vManage. Yeah. Okay, okay so let's see the vSmart status. It's already in a ready rich state. So one quick question for um, for you. So it means the NSO package comes with some default nets. It knows which uh, nets to load then. So in SD WAN core function pack, since it is specifically built for uh, SD WAN use case, it okay. bundles the vManage net. Okay. But let's say if you were to manage other VNFs, and if you need to really um, you know push day and configuration onto those VNFs, you would have to install the nets uh, manually separately. separately. Yeah. Got it. Thank yeah. you. Okay, so uh, let's go back to the uh, vManage side. Uh, I think uh, the vSmart should be also showing here, as you can see. So the certificate, uh, so all the device has been deployed right now. Uh, the certificate is not installed. This is, a, um, there's a, a document from Viptela. We need to manually install the certificate. So to save some time, I have another setup, which I already have the certificate installed. Yeah, we've been through it. Yeah, so we can uh, take a look at that one. So this is a... Uh, 
see the controllers, and the certificate is already installed and the in sync. So, uh, so I'm going to use this setup to uh, bring up a VH. Okay. 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 So the on, on the VH list, so we already installed the uh, the all the uh, UUID is mm -hmm. already here. So this is that white list of uh, authorized uh, the yeah. edges that, that can be deployed under this uh, domain of vManage. Yeah. Right. So my other setup uh, is uh, here. OK, so let's see. Go to the CLM mode. So unclaim the UID. So as just you mentioned, so here's the UUID was available. They're all available. Yeah, so so during the deployment of VH, we can uh, pick up one of the UUIDs. Okay, so let me just uh, low merge my VH. Let me show the uh, payload. So this is for the VH. I'm using uh, provider A and ESC2. And uh, so this is uh, going to be a VH cloud and give this IP address. And the type of the VH cloud, give the system IP, site ID, uh, NDU, everything. Yeah, so uh, this is uh, my uh, showing the payload of my VH. So now I'm going to uh, commit. Okay, I see run show. It's a similar uh, command to see the status. Uh, the name I give is the uh, uh, SFO. Uh, so right now you can see the uh, bootstrap configure is available deploying the VNF and uh, so it takes a while it connecting uh, try to connecting to the uh, first they try to deploy on OpenStack then try to connect with a uh, vManage. So it won't go into a reach state until it can contact the vManage? Yeah. Got it have to be like uh, the VNF was to be up first yeah. then they're connecting to the vManage. So the vManage I'm using is uh, uh, this one. So let's pick up uh, one of the UUID. Mm -hmm. And uh, OK, so VNF is onboarded already. And the VH onboarded is waiting for VH. So right now, they're connecting to the uh, vManage, try to grab a UUID connected to the, as part of the vManage. So you got four different states. You've got <clears throat> init, bootstrap, onboard, and? The status. Status, yeah. OK. And the VNF onboarded, what, what does that mean? That just means it's the, 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 the VM has been instantiated? Yeah, it's been, it's been up on the uh, OpenStack. Okay. And then the next one is the vEdge being onboarded to sync up with vManage. Yeah, waiting for uh, to get in sync with got vManage. It, Okay, so now it's in sync. So it's a uh, uh, we manage in sync. If you go to the uh, we manage uh, website, uh, let me uh, refresh this. Okay, so my uh, one, yeah, my SFO the VNF is already being here. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, so it says in sync. Okay. So since you were driving that from NSO, you didn't need to go through the process of supplying it with a token, a one-time password for authorization. It just uh, yeah. assumes that since NSO owns yeah. it, it's, it's authorized so, uh, to do it. Yeah, and NSO acting as a master, just like right. deploy everything and uh, control everything. OK. All right, so I think uh, that's the end of my demo. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank you, Sharon. Is, um, thank you. The panelists, do you guys have any final questions for Sharon? No? no, this was an excellent demo. Thank yeah. you, Sharon. Nice demo. I think the process is the same, right? You can yeah. just uh, do it for multiple right. DNF onboarding. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Sharon. So thank you for attending this, uh, this demo. Uh, it was very useful to me, and I hope uh, it was to you as well.